Today, we're bringing 5G. 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 5G just got real. 5G will be one of the most transformative technologies of my life. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Yeah, so you can see a huge pitch for the end of 2020 is going to be 5G. I can't tell you how many times Apple said 5G alone in their initial announcement announcing the iPhone 12. You can see T-Mobile has been known to have a huge advantage and they use different technology than Verizon and even AT&T. This chart put together by The Verge really outlines it. The high band is where Verizon's bread and butter really is. T-Mobile has that three layer cake and AT&T only has low and high band. So having said that, in its current phase, LTE and 5G, depending on your area, is very limited and can even be equal. In some cases, 5G can even be worse than your LTE connection, as you can see in some of these examples as well. I'm in a very popular city, one with a lot of, uh, you know, residents, but we are not bogged down with service issues at all. And in certain parts, we do have 5G. Now, having said that, this is where issues arise. Millimeter wave, ultra wideband, and that mid tier is, it's all being developed differently by these carriers. T Mobile went with the low band first, as well as mid band. Verizon is all about ultra wideband for those gigabit speeds. Problem is, they are saying that 5G is here. Well, let's let's really talk about that. Because 5G is here, but for Verizon, nationwide 5G is definitely not truly nationwide. You can see it talking about 1800 cities currently. It's the fastest 5G in the world, being that ultra wideband. However, wait, wait, 60 cities by the end of the year? No, that can't be. Really? Well, let's go ahead and actually look at this map. This is it. This is all Verizon has for nationwide 5G coverage in those dark red cities. That's not nationwide to me. This is kind of how Verizon backed themselves into a corner. This is the only cities currently available with that gigabit internet speed. However, with T-Mobile's approach, you're getting that low, mid, and high band millimeter wave as well. So there might only be a select few cities right now with T-Mobile and their ultra wideband, but they are on the right track. For AT&T, thanks to Android Central, you can see a very complete list of how extensive their AT&T 5G services is. Now, having said that, some of these are only 5GE, which is basically just the best LTE does offer. But you can see just how far of a lead they do have as well with true 5G networks. Basically, with 5G, the lower the band, the more distance it travels. And with higher bands, the higher the band, the faster the speed, but there is no real distance that this does travel it cannot penetrate buildings or anything of that nature which is really where Verizon is having issues currently as you can see here too if I zoom out of the entire state of Florida there is literally three cities across the entire state that only offers their ultra wideband fastest advertised network which is crazy something you might not even consider is that certain carriers such as Verizon charge more for 5G access. As you can see on CNET's planning chart here, Verizon is the only company to do that. T-Mobile and AT&T have 5G included in their standard plans. As you can see here, we have the new iPhone 12 Pro, and here's a couple of quick tests we ran with speedtest.net, nothing crazy. Now, I'm going to do head, go ahead and do the same test, obviously we're moving down the road, on my Fold 2. This is also on T-Mobile's 5G network, this is the mid-band segment. You can tell that by the reading of 5G, T-Mobile on the bottom, if it was low band it would actually still say LTE. 
And you can see, while moving even, that I'm pulling in around 150 gigabits, which is pretty good for mid-band spectrum and to have it included in your plan. I went ahead and did this test a couple of times. Uploads were definitely on the lower end, but when I did the same test on a LTE network on my actual iPhone 11 Pro Max, I was pulling in definitely about half the speed. So it was around 45 to 50 megabits per second. Uh, here you go, here's one other one. You can see those fast speeds at the 5G network are not consistent. These are definitely good, but not at that 150 megabits per second speed. This is what you're gonna get right now with 5G. Inconsistency, problems traveling, and these are gonna be standard issues no matter what carrier you're on or what type of 5G network you're running with. This isn't to say by any means this isn't a good start. It is just something to keep in mind because sometimes these 5G speeds are gonna be lower than what you would get on your LTE network. Now, the problem with AT&T's marketing is that when you're running these same tests, and I'm just using it still on my T-Mobile network here, but you might see 5GE for 5G evolution on the top of your display, and that is truly not 5G. That is only LTE advanced. And yes, it's a little better than LTE, but it is not true 5G at all. So it's something to keep in mind. Just because you have the latest and greatest device, and this is why I keep showcasing the iPhone 12 Pro, you are not going to always pull in the best speeds. I do want to go ahead and show you a test with non-moving, so when you're actually just stationary, to show you that you are not even going to see a difference in this regard either. It's truly just up to the signal strength in your area. Here we are, we're pulling in 100, staying still, not moving, but we had 150 earlier. So yeah, it's really going to vary. It's going to vary depending on carrier, technology type, and it's something to be mindful for now in the upcoming 2021 year where 5G is really going to be marketed even heavier than it already is. Make sure you're knowledgeable. Make sure you know the difference between these three speeds and three 5G options because they are not definitely all treated the same. Be mindful when you ask what your carrier is going to offer, if you're going to have to pay extra for this or not. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Just getting started. Wait until they see what's next.